example, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell symbol to get notified of my new video uploads. Top 5 Stupid Things Harley Davidson Riders Do Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! I have to connect the tether to my airbag vest here that's keeping me safe out here on the streets. Highly recommend this guys. For those of you guys who want to get this airbag vest, my ultralight carbon fiber helmet with mirror shield, leather jackets, leather pants, my C armor jacket, boots, gloves, cameras, all my stuff. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. First off, I want to preface this video by telling you guys that I'm not anti-cruiser, anti-Harley rider, quite the opposite. I love all motorcycles. I love all motorcycle riders, even the <laughs> man. We're all bikers, baby. We all love motorcycles. So don't get hurt, but I know there's going to be some people out there, some riders are going to, some Harley Davidson riders going to get real hurt. But I'm going to tell you guys that we'll start it off. Number one stupid thing that Harley Davidson riders do is they don't wear gear. They are the biggest squids out of all the different type of motorcycle riders out here on the streets. I did a video on it and it's one of my uh, one of my most viewed videos it's called Ohio squids you no know, here in Ohio there are a ton of squids you know and the sad part is it's legal to be a squid here because after you go down without a helmet and bust your head real good man you'll be and I'll tell you guys that I've been riding these streets of Ohio for many years now all throughout Ohio and all I see is cruiser riders that don't wear gear they just straight up squids man I mean they're busy trying to look cool and look good out here for the ladies there's a lot of pretentious Harley riders out there <laughs> but hey you guys can do whatever the you want to do with your life but I tell you bust your head out here on the streets you can end up in a nursing home at a young age with uh, in your drawers slobbering over your self and you're going to um you're gonna have life rest of your life man delegated to a nursing home with a bunch of old folks in there that are sick i tell you guys it's no joke but anyways number two on my list is harley riders like to rev the rev out of their bikes Especially in the presence of us sport bike riders. I don't know why. Maybe it's a, a, a show of manliness, of machoism or something. I don't know, man. To show up the sport bike rider to say he's got the loudest bike. Game. Oh, we got a tough guy here. And I tell you, those Harley, and don't get me wrong, I love the sound of the Harleys. I love that sound. Some of them are just too loud, though. I mean, I got a neighbor that a fa his family member comes over and man, he rattles the houses in the neighborhood. It's loud. Surprising that guy isn't deaf. And I, you know, we sport bike riders do the same. No! <laughs> Just I don't know. It seems like like Harley riders like to do it more. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna have a top five of uh, stupid that sport bike riders do too. Is it really? necessary to rev the f out of that loud ass hog in front of us sport bike riders or when you see the ladies trying to look cool trying to look macho trying to look tough out here trying to look bad ass with your shades on but anyways number three harley riders they do more cleaning and polishing of their bikes than they do riding I tell you guys, they are, out of all the different types of riders out there, the cruiser riders have the garage queens. They, like I said, they put low, that's why you see a lot of them for sale, they have really low miles, but they're clean as don't have any scratches, not polished to a T, just polished. 
I mean, you can see your reflection on the pipes. Everything, man. On that black bike, you can see the your reflection on the tank. They pride themselves. And there's nothing wrong, don't get me wrong, with cleaning your bike and being prideful of your bike. I'm the same way, but I'm not to the point where some of these Harley riders out here are as ridiculous. I mean, I know a dude, he keeps it in the garage. I'm like, dude, do you ever ride it? He rides it like once a month on a Sunday for like freaking like around the block and back. But he spends more time in that polishing in that bitch, man. I don't understand it. It's like, what the fuck did you get it? A showpiece? What the fuck did you get a showpiece for, man? And ride that bitch. Number four. Out of all the different types of riders out here on the streets, we're talking scooter riders, you know, uh, we're talking sport bike riders, all the different, uh, you know, adventure, dirt bike, all, all the different type of riders out here, uh, that ride different types of bikes out here. Harley riders are, not just Harley, but I'd say, you know, cruiser riders, probably I would say Harley riders, I'm gonna be frank. Yeah, let's keep it real. That's what this video is about. They wave the lease. They show the least respect to us sport bike riders. Now they'll wave to other cruiser riders, but they don't like to wave to, to anybody else that's ride any other bike other than a cruiser. Now you know I don't give a f I've done many videos on uh, talking about waving and saying, yeah, I don't really give a f whether you wave to me or not. I show respect to everybody. I waved to everybody. I even waved the bicyclists on the side of the road. But uh, scooter riders, everybody. I wave to everybody. I just show respect to, you know, riders on two wheels. We're all biker brothers and sisters out here on the streets. But, I don't, like I said, I, I can almost count on it half the time and seeing these riders, they don't, they don't wave, man. Some of them do, don't get me wrong, not all of them. But like I said, they just seem to be the worst offenders for not showing respect to their brothers on sport bikes. So show some respect, just wave, man. We're all brothers on two wheels. It doesn't matter about the type of motorcycle that you're riding, it's that you're riding on two wheels. And we should look out for each other and be respectful to each other. It doesn't take that much effort to just do a little wave, do a little biker wave, even do a foot wave if you want to. Show some respect to your fellow sport bike riders. And number five, and this is what cracks me up the most, is they are the worst offenders. Harley Davidson riders are the worst offenders to providing free marketing for the Harley Davidson name. They got Harley Davidson everything, man. They got Harley Davidson hats, Harley Davidson shirts, Harley Davidson jackets, Harley Davidson pants, and Harley Davidson. They even have the the name Harley Davidson. This one guy out here in this this city, he's got Harley Davidson on the garage, <laughs> and not getting paid a single dime by uh, by Harley Davidson. All that free marketing that you guys are doing, and what are you getting for it? I don't understand it, man. And you know Harley Davidson, in my opinion, they charge like five thousand dollar premium on their bikes just for their freaking name. <laughs> to me, their bikes are you know anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars, like overpriced. Now they're good bikes. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm not a Harley Davidson hater. You know, I grew up with you know my dad he rode Harleys he fixed Harleys he did more fixing than he did riding but nowadays Harley Davidson is a lot more reliable than they used to and they're great a lot of great bikes still but they're to me in my opinion just overpriced for what you get um, I mean you can get the same you can get a Sportster Cruiser Japanese for freaking almost uh, almost half the cost for Harley Davidson like I said you're paying for that name and uh, you Harley Davidson riders love to rep that name. Even people that don't even have a Harley Davidson love to rep that name. They got, I seen this guy, he had a fucking Harley Davidson shirt, hat, and didn't even have a Harley Davidson, didn't even ride motorcycles. Just thought it was cool to rep the name. 
I don't understand it myself, man. I don't even rep Honda. For a long time, I didn't even have a Honda badge on this this blade or my CBR 600 double R. Yeah, I don't give a about you. Don't see me wearing no Honda shirts and Honda apparel or Honda stickers and all that. I'm not doing free marketing for them. They're not paying me. They should pay me for all them these videos I've done. You know. Speaking highly of the CBR 1000 fucking double R and the 600 double R, really I should be getting paid for that. <laughs> Seriously, man. But I love they make fantastic bikes. They do. Honda makes all the Japanese companies, all of them, make fantastic bikes. But you will not see Cycle Cruiser repping their names. For a long time on my WR 250R, I didn't even have Yamaha on it. Deuces. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.